So disaster has struck. We'll put a photo in, but there was a tree in the middle of the road. Um, we just had to reverse down the narrow lane. I don't know if I can turn here. And doing an 18 point turn. I don't think I can turn. I think I have to do the whole thing backwards. The whole thing backwards. Right. Okay. There's a tree, Ella. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go out the other way, hopefully. What happened? What happened? He's removing a tree. <sighs> <sighs> How are you 
feeling, Paul? Uh, I think my heart rate is uh, quite high. Which was more stressful, checking in Remy or the drive here? Checking in Remy by far. What happened? So the vets filled out the wrong date on the implant, um, chip implant date. They filled out the date that they'd seen the seen Remy rather than the date of the implant. So um, hold that oh, thought. Hold that thought. So um, they filled out the date as the date they saw Remy instead of the date that he'd been yes, chipped. Yeah, which basically invalidates everything else because it makes everything else implausible because he wasn't. Um, he can't have had his rabies jab um, certified without having had the um, chip in him and so on. So I phoned the vets. They're closed. <clears throat> I phoned the out of hours um, emergency vet and they are a different company and didn't have any access to the vet systems. Um, it's a uh, vet's at home. So I phoned the Maidstone um, version of the vets and they don't have any access to our local um, vets at home, so they couldn't do anything. So they looked up the pin, uh, the chip number, and found that it wasn't the system that they could access, so they gave me the number for the other company. So I phoned them, and they're closed in the UK at the weekend, so it went through to an American woman, and um, I talked to her. Are I you going to do the editing thing where you speed it up like you do when I'm talking? <laughs> no, because no, I think this is important. Um, so then the, um, this American woman who's very, very helpful, I said to her, basically what I need is a document sending by email to Eurotunnel um, that says that this chip number was um, implanted on this date and not the date that's on the form. Um, and so she said, okay, let me take some details from you. So I gave her my name and my address, and she said, that's not the registered keeper for Remy. What? Um, and I was like, right, okay. Um, so is it an address in this place? And she said, yes, it is. It's like, right. Um, and I actually remembered the name of the breeder that we bought Remy from without Googling and looking it up oh, at wow. all. Um, her full name, remembered. Um, so, um, if, so he's never been registered with us? Um, well, no, I filled out a document. Um, I remember doing yeah. the document, but it's clearly never been processed. So if Remy had gone missing, and still if he goes missing, then the breeder, who may or may not live where she used to live um, uh, five years, six years ago, um, would have been contacted. So we do need to get that sorted. Yeah. But we now have a document which says the pin, the chip number, and, when and the date, pin? and it has her details on it. Right. And I said, is that a problem to the guy at um, Passport Control? And he said, no. So that's attached to the certificate. I also showed the ICAD um, registration in case that would help at all. And he said, ah, oh, yeah, good idea to get the, uh, um, to get him a French passport. So um, he also said it's not uncommon. Um, he said that there was another couple um, who had paid uh, a bit more than us, so we paid £140 for ours, and someone else paid like 200 for theirs, <laughs> and the um, the expiry date on the vac on the rabies jab was two days after it was admitted, it was given, so that was a clerical error, and someone else who would paid a um, similar amount of money, um, uh, there was another date issue. So I had actually read the certificate, I had checked it, and I didn't notice. Um, because it's, it's partly because it's in French, right. so so you can't. You should have got me. So to check it's not it. easy to see yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what everything relates yeah. to. So you just I kind of looked through and thought, well, that's you know these are all plausible things. Yeah. And I actually read it. I remember reading that and thinking, oh, that's the date that they scanned yeah. his chip, not you know, and they verified his chip. Yeah. I hadn't realised oh. it was the implant wow. date. So after all that, we missed our train, and the subsequent train and I think the subsequent train, and we're now on the next one. So I think it's probably worth phoning the vet. 10.20, yeah, we'll, we'll phone the vet. I will have a little chat with the vet. Um, um, I also got asked, um, have you got four um, statements of honour for all the passengers? And I was like, no, because you don't need them for the kids. And he's like, no, you do need them for the kids. So I filled them out for the kids, and then passport control didn't ask for them. Nobody asked them. But it's quite difficult when you are that stressed to remember all of your children's 
and dates of birth. You only got two. <laughs> <laughs> Size of their cauliflowers. Well, in England, in England, our cauliflowers have just got smaller and smaller and smaller. We love this carrot wrappe. Ten euro bottle of champagne. Rock salt and nut. One or but or both. Rock salt. I think we've had nut before. So this is why I really love French uh, supermarkets. All of the fresh food. So we've got butchers, some really nice freshly made food, uh, there's fish, a fish stand kind of over there somewhere and loads and loads of locally sourced vegetables and stuff behind me. It's just great. and the best chocolate in the world. Right. Yeah. James, what do you want? What flavour is it, Ella? Meh and bubble gum. With what on top? Cream and Maltesers. Okay, don't lose those Maltesers. I won't. Smurf turned my tongue blue. It did. And what have you got, James? Heaven. Heaven. So a waffle with cream and a Kinder Bueno. That was good. Shopping done. So now what we need to do is get some LPG and find somewhere to stay tonight. Oh, Paul, where are we? France. No, not that, Ella. <laughs> um, we're, on Mont we're, we're at Montreuil-sur-Mer at a campsite whose name I can't remember. It's on Rue de Deglise. We've stayed here before. It's lovely. Um, the drive down here was a bit sketchy. So um, it was very, very windy. So uh, Storm Eunice has rocked the UK this week. And I think it's, uh, it's, it's come to pay us a little visit. And um, it was very, very windy. So we took the motorway to begin with, but it was basically Paul was driving as I was going, oh, ah, ooh, every two <laughs> seconds. Uh, so we decided to not take the motorway uh, and go back routes, um, which was very pretty. Saw lots of chickens and pheasants and stuff like that, which was nice. Um, so we got here, we've chilled out for a bit, um, played a lot of hangman. And uh, I think we're going to go out to get some food, but uh, it's it's raining again, um, so we might not film much of Montreux and just go and get some food. Yeah, see um, see some other video from. Montreux. Yeah, see some other video from Montreux. Bye. By the way, I would be really interested if anybody else viewing this video has children like this who just. <laughs> roll around a bit and make funny angles just just asking for a friend oh yeah you got too. so james do you know what you've got yeah good what is it creme brulee creme brulee okay and <laughs> <laughs> totally really, I really, I should not have taught you that game. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs>
thing is, I was looking at it through the camera as well, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually see it live. Um, so that's Grandpa's favourite. So what you need to do is you need to, you need to knock it like it's a hammer. There you go. It's kind of a little bit like ice, but Your, it's, it's caramel. Like ice. Yeah, but it's caramel. Yeah, don't eat some of the cream. Yeah, all right, stop the game. You need to eat it with some of the cream. <laughs> not, <laughs> not just the caramel. <laughs> So please forgive my morning groggy face. Um, we are leaving Montreux soon there and we are on our way to Orléans. We want to get a good chunk of driving in so it's, get into, into France. Um, but into the into holiday mode. Um, interesting thing is it's quite windy. We've just gone past a sign that says wind, violent. Um, and yeah, it, it really, really, really is. So when um, there's some sort of shelter on the motorway, on the side, like even if it's just trees, it's not so bad. But as soon as those go away, we are all over the place. It's like having a kite down a motorway. Um, I'll turn the camera around so you show, show any of it. So, here we go. It's not going to do a massive wind gust now for me. Well, I mean, I think it's Time's a charm. Uh, a, B a BP garage, no problem, nice and easy, no spurting gas, no banning or interdeeing of camping cars, nice and simple. Okay, so we have reached Orléans um, and uh, we're parked up here in the uh, car park right in the centre of Orléans. We're going to go and have a bit of an explore. I can see through these buildings to the cathedral, so we're going to have a little explore over there first, I think show you around. Another 2.4 in a van video with the cathedral. <laughs> Still very, very windy from uh, Storm Eunice in France, but it's better here than it was in uh, on the north coast. It's these beautiful silver birch trees lining the road all the way along. Beautiful, oh, but we lovely. are going to have a little family celebration tonight. I had some good news, we're very pleased about, and we're going to leave you there and pick you up tomorrow where we are going to take Remy 
to the vets to hopefully get his French passport and make everything smoother for the future. So, good night. Congratulations. And cheers. And cheers. So if you do come to Orléans, one of the places to park is where we have, which is the car park just across the road over there. But actually where I'm stood right now is probably better because they've got bigger spaces. Um, this is for buses. Um, and I think this is where the, uh, the actual park for night stop is. But it's right next to the theater if you're looking for it. Um, and really central because it's like five minutes over there to the river um, and yeah you're next to everything so back down by the river um, and as you can maybe you can see there's a nice little canal that branches off from the river and uh, what what a nice place to work out in the morning if you want to uh, but also you can hire bikes and to be honest, all the way along uh, the walk that Remy and I are doing this morning in... I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me because of the wind. Um, but yeah, the whole way along, the whole way along is cycle paths everywhere. So it's a good place to cycle and explore. Remy, are you going to go and get your passport now, mate? Oh, don't stand on the passport. Go get your passport. He's going to go and get his passport. Thanks, Remy. Fingers crossed. Oh. Bon chance. Merci. Uh, he do it. What? No. Are you serious? No, You're a liar. <laughs> 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 oh, that was so stressful. Well done. Oh. Remy. Bonjour. Remy. Ça va? <laughs> Ça va? Bonjour. You ready? Come on, give me some <laughs> um. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, we're going to go for a ride. Yeah, we're going to go for a ride. Yeah, we're going to yeah. cycle to Orléans. Yes. Yeah. Right. Are you ready? I, I was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> Salt of caramel. Very nice. What happened? I dropped the water on me. Yeah, you did drop it. Well, you kind of threw it up in the air and it <laughs> went but everywhere. Fair play to him. Yeah, well done. Some of it's still in the bottle. Um, sometimes you do stupid things.
So we're going to leave you there. Um, we really loved Orléans. I loved Orléans. Beautiful. I'll back. So pretty. As a as a city, c'est super charmant. Uh, I liked it. It's really pretty. I liked it. What does that mean? Did I say I liked it. No. Uh, super charmant. Um, charmant is like charming. It's ah, very nice. Okay. It was well nice. It was well nice. <laughs> it will do. <laughs> so, um, and the park up that we stayed in is really oh, quiet gosh. and beautiful. It, and I went for an amazing run this morning. Are you alright? I was about to trip on my face and I was trying to catch up. Okay. So I went for a run this morning and where we're parked up is just in a snow, uh, snow drop wood. So basically I went for a run with millions of snowdrops on the banks of the Loire. That's and it was bad. just, it's just different. and I saw a red squirrel, which is really and cool. Donkey. And a donkey. And the donkey told me off for running away. And I got shouted at by a donkey. Um, but it was lovely. So we're having a great time and we're going to carry on up the Loire now uh, and explore a new part of uh, the area um, and uh, I hope you come along with us make sure you subscribe and if you click on the bell then you'll get an alert when the next video is out see you soon bye, bye.